Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will... Quartreich have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3 and the next time you check it'll be 4-5-1 and it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too when it does turn to a five across midfield then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier compact defensive look under the floodlights here and the match that follows ought to follow suit and we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. You're just joining us, we are already on the way. Good clearance and very necessary. Forward quickly. Forward it goes. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Aimed long and direct. Pops it in gently, and it's hoisted clear. And it's been taken short, promising cross, and that's been levered clear. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Chance to shoot! And a shot! That's a half-decent try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. it back it's being played forward tries to get it forward quickly big chance he's done very well to get to that Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've played it short. Another quarter. Any better luck this time round? Great! 
great leap! Just off target. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. Lovely bit of skill there. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. it out to the wing and shoots they've scored there is the breakthrough well from right in front of goal there was no way he was going to miss yeah it looks simple Peter but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. And the action is back on the way. Well, Dreyk need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. to win it back and he just whacks it away now can he finish fires it in low it's gone a long way up and away loose ball who's going to get that strong challenge but well within the laws there's going to be a change now with the ball out of play. To the left it goes. Forward it goes. Well, they could break here. On the right now, what's on? A oh, really good feat from him. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Swept in. And the shot! Oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Time for a change of personnel. Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind.
Played out to the right. He's left his man. Here it comes. And the finish! St. Troy take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Five minutes. Well waited. Has a pop! It's broken loose. away And that's it. Portrike had no answer. Second best in every department and correspondingly well beaten. Your final thoughts, Jim? Courtrike simply forgot to turn up with an attack, Peter, and that lack.